Hey, Jeff Justice here with Jeff Justice Seminars for Court Reporters. I want to thank you so much for deciding to choose us to get your online CEUs with. We promise not to disappoint you. We provide laugh pack content-rich seminars so that you can get your CEUs from the comfort of your own home or office. So basically, you're going to watch the videos as you do, print out the PDFs for the quizzes, answer the questions as you go along, at the end of the whole seminar, so if you're taking a 10-hour seminar after you finish all the sections, email me all of your answers. I will grade them and get you back your letter of completion for your state. And if you're an RPR, the proper forms for NCRA. So get ready to laugh and learn with Jeff Chester Seminars for Court Reporters. I'm not good. Okay. All right, so let's get started with fun with spelling and vocabulary. <laughs> So, who, what we're, let's start over here. We're going to read number one. Sorry. You have to about that now. <laughs> here, let's start over here. We'll start with you. She's eating. Okay. You? Everybody's eating. What do you want me to do? Uh, read number one. On page one. Or two. On page one, sorry. Page one. Oh, yeah. Okay, the mnemonics helps you remember? Uh-huh. Uh, Mediterranean or Mediterranean? So, which one is it? Oh. Oh, I have to come up with you. Uh-huh. Uh, I think it's the first one. Yes. Who <laughs> disagree? Stop calling, folks. We have a winner. Anybody disagree? Okay, cool. And go ahead and read the other ones on that one, that number one. Uh, pavilion or pavilion? I think it's uh, two L's. So. Anybody else agree? Two L's? You got a 50-50 shot at it. I know. It's right here on your name. Think it's one? <laughs> this is the way she, yeah, this is the way Anita remembers. It looks like a single L with a long tent top. Oh, pavilion. Tent top. Okay. <laughs> okay, number two. Next person. Uh, write things down in a word log book for continuous review. I need to have a little book, and it looks kind of like this, her exercise book, but it's like a little word book. You can make your own. Um, I had one when I started. I worked for Karen Shavy, and um, she had this big old book made that had like A through Z. And we would just put it in a notebook. And um, when I was working on jobs, um, I would things that I had trouble with or whatever, or words that I just kept missing and kept spelling wrong, I would write them in that book. And then every day you get to a job, then you just write them one time through each time. And then when you finally get that word down in your head and you're not having to struggle with it anymore, you cross it off and you just keep adding every day new words that are giving you problems. You could probably do that with a smartphone too, couldn't you? That's true. You do it on your smartphone. Make yourself a Make a little, um, yeah, make yourself a little book in there. Okay. And then it's easy to search too. That's true. Say. That's true. When you have your word in your dictionary, sometimes you forget how to spell because they miss it. That's right. Just say when they're in your dictionary, sometimes you forget how to spell things. And it's like you, know, you just depend on your dictionary. I used to always use like little tricks to remember things like Illinois. I can never remember that. And it's like, still I know is. Oh. Ill I know is. That sounds like I speak too, so. Ill I know is. Mississippi. Yeah. Right. I'm a yeah. <laughs> um, keep a log you review often. Um, I, I like to keep things in a logbook that uh, maybe fingers things that I'm having trouble, you know, just writing. Maybe not necessarily the spelling part of it, but maybe the writing part. And um, and then every day before a job, just go in and just keep and just keep going over and over and over. And this is a, another good thing for Anita has the finger spelling book. I'm sh I'm pretty sure I don't know if y'all know this, but Anita's um, <coughs> mastery workshops were bought by Cindy Flegel 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 Flegel. I think that's right. Out of um, of Florida and she's going to be doing her real she kept the name she's going to still be doing the mastery workshops um, she's got one in Dallas in May I just talked to her yesterday and I'm assuming that she's going to have the books available that were Anita's books I haven't talked to her about that but this is her finger exercise book and if you take this so little you can carry it with you and it, these are very difficult very difficult sentences that are nonsensical sometimes but it's to get you to use those those spellings so if you do that and you write these every day before a job, this will help you also get your speed up. Yes. Okay. We also had a few people before that were saying that they wish they'd gotten a chance to take the workshop with Anita. Yes. And was anybody carrying on? So this is it. She's been trained yeah. by Anita. She knows all of her stuff, and she will be doing the four-day workshops. Yep, she will. And uh, I have the book, and if anybody needs help, you can always call me too. 
I think I passed my cards out. If anybody didn't get one, you can let me know. I've got more up here if I ran out. Um, create a post-it note. That's another thing you can do. Just create a post-it note and put it in front of you. You do that, you're the post-it queen. Room. I just have post-its all <laughs> That's a good way to do it, too. Post-its are awesome. Um, like maneuver. Like this is something that, that um, Anita liked to do. For maneuver, she always would do U-E instead of E-U. So she would cap the letters that she kept missing and put it on a post-it in front of her until she, until she got comfortable enough to where she got it and didn't have to keep looking. So any words like that that you have problems with? I'm trying to think of words that give me a hassle, but I can't think right now. I'll tell you one more uh -huh. thing. Yes, and I just figured this out after 30 some years, 40, 40, day to day. I go, well, no, I'm not always in trouble with that. I looked down at yeah. my fingers when I was writing. I thought, what the crap? I'm so sick of this. Why doesn't my, because I have a light speed and it's very uh -huh. light touch, so if you don't really, you know, you have to be, it's very sensitive. Uh -huh. So you have to write very carefully and well to use that machine. And so I go, well, how come my black keeps coming out black? I'm so sick of this. And I look down at my fingers and I realize my finger's not long enough to get the BL on uh -huh. both of them. So then I just started doing something different for it. Right. Whatever okay. is different. But I had no idea that it was actually a physical disability. <laughs> 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 so you can take words that you're having trouble with and any letters that you're getting confused, like the I before E thing, if you're getting confused and you're putting it wrong, <laughs> then just cap those letters and put it on a sticky in front of you until you feel like you're comfortable and you get it right. So let's start with the spelling and no cheating, peeps. <laughs> let's start with you here, number one. Re please, re what we're going to do is have you read the sentence. And uh, tell us which one's That's correct. Okay, number one, you should get a shot to inoculate you against the flu. Mm -hmm. um, oh dear, I think it's B. B it, she said B. Anybody disagree? C. 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 Don't yes. think it's C? C. 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 Don't think it's C? C. For real? Yeah. Yeah. She's right, it's B. Oh, it is. It's B. How can you remember that? What would help you remember that? You only want one shot, so it's all one. That's right. You only want one shot, so it's all one. Good one. That's a good one. Okay. I would have said C also if I didn't have it marked on here, right? <laughs> I said C too the first time. Not alone. Okay, number two. The existence of the star rating is to offer guidance. Um, A. Anybody disagree? She's right. No, you can't say it with questioning in your voice. You have to be from it. A. <laughs> okay, number three. The best restricted legislative Congress. And I don't know. Take a stab at it. She thinks it's A. Any, anybody? What do y'all think it is? C. I thought it was C. You think it's C? The filibuster obstructed legislative process. It is C. What would help us remember that? Legislative has starts with an L and filibuster has one L. I mean, I don't know. That's the way I remember it. <laughs> well, you want to only hear filibuster once. That's right. You only want to hear filibuster like once. That's a good one. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Okay. Next one, number four. Submit each report separately. Uh, I'm going to guess C. Anybody disagree? Yes. C is correct. I always get that wrong because I say it wrong. Separately. 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 <laughs> Number five. Her secretary is indispensable. B. Indispensable. B. Anybody disagree? You think it's A? Anybody else think it's A? Whoa! It's B. Oh. Able, indispensable, able, yeah. And knowing that Secretary's makes you able. Secretary's able. Secretary's able. Number six. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Your turn. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Please, somebody sorry. say A. Hey. Set up a larger amount of taxes <laughs> to withhold. B. B. Anybody disagree with that one? That's correct. Number seven. Um, mark your calendar with the correct due date. A. A. Anybody disagree? Okay, she's right. A. 
Key court recording still needs uh, strong grammar skills. A. Do anybody disagree with that one? Mm -hmm. She's right. And I remember that because you want to see grandma twice because she always gives you five dollars. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Grandmas are awesome. Okay, number nine. He obfuscated his idea of creating mass confusion. B. B. Anybody disagree? Obfus. How do you say that? Obfuscated. Obfuscated. It's B. What do y'all think? B. 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 It's B. Oh. Obfuscated. I think that you're creating mass confusion I always thought it was by using IT. that word in the sentence. <laughs> I, thought, I always thought it was I T, but it, it's it's B. So four, I think I don't need to be a cold report. Think confusion. <laughs> think, think confusion has a U. Confusion obfuscated. Um, number ten. What is the hierarchy of the officer sentences? C. Anybody disagree with that one? Okay. She is right. The no. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Is C. Is C. We got it. Number eleven. He lied in front of the whole group publicly. B. Anybody disagree? No. I disagree. Really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it is. It's B. She's right. I sometimes I want to put that A L L Y and I stop it myself, but no, it is B. Number twelve. This chapter should precede the last chapter. Which one? You think it's B? No. A. 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 Seems like we have dissent in the group. Ooh. <laughs> How many people think it's B? <coughs> Boy, you need to change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> How many think it's A? It's A. Good job. <coughs> Number 13. How could you remember that one? Let's see, what's the way to remember that? Proceed. Well, it's only one E and it's just one before the chapter? Yeah. Yeah, that works. No two E's together. The e All spread e out. E. Yeah. I'm not good at those kind of things. <laughs> well, we come to that. <laughs> the chapter should proceed. Okay, number 13. She a very conscientious court reporter. Child C. Do y'all agree with that one? Yeah. You sure? Positive. Yeah. Excellent court reporters. <laughs> Number 14. When you were caught in the line, you feel very weird. Well, I want to say say that when I look at B, it looks kind of like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it looks weird though, doesn't it? <laughs> What's a good way to remember that one? I before E except after C. Except for weird. I know, right? That's how I remember it. I before E except after C except for the word weird. That's how I remember it. Isn't there like seven or eight of them, like neighbor and foreign? Yeah, there's a lot. Probably. I think you're right. I before E except when it's not. Except when it's weird. So it's weird. Like it has that A sound too. It's the A sound, yeah. Yeah, I, before, yeah, I before E except after C and A. Like an A, oh, a sound. The A sound. Okay, that's a good way to remember it. Like an A sound. Weird. Or weird. 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 <laughs> 50. You must definitely call your mom tomorrow. Definitely is A. Anybody disagree with that one? It was agreed. Okay. I like that confidence. Good Definitely, yeah. Definitely the, the most often is you see it defiantly. <laughs> yeah, defiantly. Yeah, defiantly. Yeah. defiantly. Yeah. Come here, Come here. It was defiantly call your mom. Yeah, that's true. 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 That's Anybody disagree? Well, it's B. I, it's C. But B is in the dictionary as a variant spelling of C. That's right. So they're both right. That's correct. Right. Is that right? That's what says Mary Webster. <coughs> Melinda, that's one for you to look up. <laughs> Let's see what the dictionary says. Are you using uh, Webster's? Or Google, whatever you want. Webster's. Say it into it, see what comes up. Yeah. 
she's the very first one. I think it's. So, um, I always felt it being. It'll have the preferred spelling. Yeah. And then the if we make it B, it'll be easier to remember. Yeah. I. Because it's mini. Mini, mini yeah, mini, right? mini stool. Not important, mini, mini stool. It's mini stool. Well, I'm just looking at what it what it says. Well, we already looked it up. That's why we circled yeah, it. It's a variant of minuscule, but it I don't know that. But did it do anything else? Uh, minuscule. Yeah, I just call it. It just says it's a very variant, and then it goes uh, leads you over to minuscule. With the to which one? Leads you to the C. That is that. Oh my God! Come on, keep up. That M I N U S C U L E is. The one that is the main one in M I N I links over to M I N U S. And M I N I is the most popular spelling. Yeah, it's, no. No. Well, it's been misspelled. It's, it's been misspelled so much that it's a variant of minuscule, which M I N U S it says comes from the Latin minus meaning less. So that was the preferred spelling. That's exactly right. Okay. So which way should we spell it? You can do either one. What's the proper one? I mean, the main the main entry is the U, but you see it so much with the I. Well, you know what? You ought to spell it with a U, because then people will try to correct you, and they go, "I better do it." You can get the microphone and say it, and then whatever comes up, that's what one it is. What is? What is? Look that up. Minuscule. It's Emma. Extremely small and tiny. M I N U S. U S. That's what I do. Let's go whatever they give so me. So we have it wrong. <laughs> this is a variant. See, I think if we type a U, though, people are going to think we made the mistake. They're going to think we made the mistake. I know because so many people do it the other way. Yeah, but then you get to be really smart. Yeah, then you, you can say, well, it. actually. Yeah, but they don't. They're looking at your transcript and they yeah. think, what are you doing? You're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. So we can do, we can do whichever one we want on that one. And get away with it, and we have a reason. Well, it's like Fort and Forte. You can actually do yeah. that for Forte. That's true. Hey, guess that just happened. What? Well, I just bought that from you. <laughs> and my husband's texting me. It says, Chase Payne just texted me and asking me if I ran a transaction for $199 through the square. <laughs> Only if you're dad, here. My husband, he just can't believe I can find a place to shop no matter where I am. <laughs> 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 Number 17. They love each other so much they are inseparable. A. Anybody disagree? Perfect. By the way, uh -huh. that, that is important yeah. to let your spouses know that you bought something for $99 from corporate comedy. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's the name of the company. Corporate comedy. Number um, 18. The gas gauge is stuck on full all the time. B. B. Everybody agree with that? Yes. I gave your answer. A is also acceptable exactly. as a variant. That's right. A is a variant. Yeah. Well, what's your number? We might need to call you. Oh, no. She's good at this. 19. This is when a lot of people get incorrect. I know. This is all this one. And usually they're embarrassed by it. Yes, that's true. If you got embarrassed before, what if you dropped the cheese? And yes, every time I have to look it up. So I'm going to guess C. She's guessing C. Is she correct? I think it's A. Somebody's going to be embarrassed. How many people think it's A? How many think it's C? It's C. Two R's, two S's here. Because harass, this is the way I remember it. Harass is, uh, is one and embarrass is two. That's just the way I remember it. Two comes before one. I don't know that. For some reason, that sticks on my head. I don't know. Embarrassing. <laughs> I think it's like very I know, right? It works for me. You know. How does somebody else remember that? How do y'all remember it? I just check it. I check it. I'll check it. I'll check it. Wait, wait. Embarrass and harass. How do y'all remember between the two? I just spell check. You just spell check. I <laughs> just said that too. How do you know? You say embarrass. Rats. You know what's great? My wife was proofing this and she's going, oh, this sentence is all wrong. The court reporter who dropped? <laughs> it's a court reporter thing, honey. Yeah. <laughs> they have their own language. <laughs> Next one, 20. Do you ever play miniature golf? 
Mm -hmm. Anybody disagree? No. She's right. See, she we're excellent right? reporters. Uh -huh. She's right. A is right. Oh, A is right. Oh, you said she is right. She is right. A is correct. A is correct. Okay. 21. Well, look what just came up. Ooh. You just paid attention. We better get this one right. The people, people were told not to harass the obstructionist. B. B. Yes. Yes. Harass. Harass one. Okay. Number 22. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor of Maine was beleaguered and contemplated resigning. The hard one. Yeah. I'd, I'd say A. Anybody else say A? Who says B? Who says C? Who wouldn't raise their hand no matter what? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's A? I think I've seen it spelled like that more yep. than the it is. It's A. Wow. And I can't kind of remember that because I think League, yeah, league yeah, is in the middle yeah. and League is spelled like, you know, the governor made it in a league of his own. Yeah, I don't know. It works for me. <laughs> 23. You need to fill out the questionnaire completely. Um, in my defense, I don't have my glasses on. Okay. Uh -huh. Anybody think C? Anybody think A? C, it's C, you're right. Four. Oh, this is a cheater. Somebody gets a cheaty one. 24. Okay, then. You tried to maneuver the pipe in the opening. Correct, because it was on the front page. <laughs> Number 25. They showed perfect synchronized rhythm. A? Yeah. Anybody disagree? How do you remember that one? Because it doesn't look No vowels. <laughs> no vowels. That's how I remember. No vowels. Rhythm. Now, how many people were taught like me that uh, sometimes why? Yeah. 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 A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes why? Right. Yeah. yeah, I just think no vowels. Is it, well, it's a minor league. <laughs> it's a minor league vowel. It's not a real second, vowel. Second <laughs> on, on our little thing, it's not a vowel, right? <laughs> on our machine, it's not a vowel. That must be a Welsh word. Number 26. Her bio will supersede the joke she tells. A B? What do y'all think? Everybody, anybody else think B? For some reason, I think A. Y'all think it's A? No, I wrote something, but it, it's, it, is, it is B, but A is also correct, but A is the British. I like British. But we are better than that. We don't need no stinking British English. C is the more common. Uh -huh. I mean B, I'm sorry. B is the more common. Bloody hell, I didn't know it. <laughs> this is the British thing. Bloody hell. <laughs> Next one, number one at the bottom. Which one is correct? The second one necessary. We all get that one. Number two, well, we're going to yell these out together. Number two. Which one is correct? The third one, accommodation. Two C's, two M's. Three business. Third one. And you, how do you remember that one? An E for envelope. Busyness. E, yeah, E for envelope. Busyness. Designness. Designness. Huh? Because you write it a million times. True. Which is used for pens, paper, envelopes, etc.? Third one, how do you remember that one? Letter and paper end with E. How do you remember? Letter and paper end with E. And stationery is letter and paper ends with E. That's how I remember. Ends with E? Letter and E R. Oh, I see. Get it? Oh, okay. I got it like that. Because I saw the Y there, but I know that's not what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was saying, the E for envelope. Yeah. That's how I was yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, E for envelope, E for yeah. letter, paper, they both have E. Envelope, okay, I got it. No. Got it, okay. Which is correct on the number five? <laughs> second one. Anybody disagree? Second one? All right, that's correct. Okay, let's go back to our, where were we back there? We'll start with the vocabulary. So you're going to pick the word that, um, that is, 
is what it means. Okay, we talk. Why don't, why don't we give them a, a minute to look at? It? Oh, yeah. Look at the look at look at. Look at the vocabulary words. We we'll take a break for a second. Why don't Why don't we let children do one through six? Do one through six really quick, and then we're going to call our people to, to do them. Do one through six. Come on, raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. We can do that. We can have you raise your hand. I see y'all sinking in your chairs right there. We'll have you raise your hand for this section. So y'all do. I, I hear all this this canoodling going on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just curious. When you get an attorney and you know they're mispronouncing the word, uh -huh. how do you handle that? I just put what they say. If they like a good like Pacific instead of specific, I put Pacific because that's what they said, and then I stick it the first time, and the rest of the time I don't stick it. I just but I put whatever they say because it happens a lot. I know that's a biggie. Pacific and specific drives me insane. Come to Georgia and see how much they. How many times you have to ask that question? Uh, no, you know what? I put I put ask on that one. I put ask. Yeah. Right, right. It happens way more than we'd like to think. I don't clean them up, but they say what they say. We're verbatim. There's a there's a judge in Bear County that'll say Bolivius sometimes. What does he say? Bolivius. Bolivius. <laughs> he's oblivious. Bolivius. That's a good one. Yeah. It doesn't like. Okay. I don't do the Pacific because that's not actually the word they're saying. That may yeah. be the word you're. I'm hearing. Yeah. But don't you think that puts it in a bad? To me, I'm always worried about it coming across like I'm trying to make the witness look bad. They're not actually saying. Specific, like ocean. They're saying specific. They're just mispronouncing. Like when they ask you a question, yeah. Actually, asking it. It's an A and B. Yeah. Because that's the letter actually saying. Yeah. That's my Yeah. I, I still put specific. I mean, it makes sense. Revelance. Yes, that's revelance. I mean, yeah. What do y'all do? What do y'all do in that? Yeah. What do y'all do in that situation? Do you? Do all of you put Pacific and Sicket, or do you put Specific? Pacific. I don't want to put it. Uh, Pacific. Pacific. Uh, Pacific. Yeah. A lot of times that's a, that's a, a, a cultural difference. Yeah. Kind of like apps, and so yeah. I don't want to, I mean, I know what they mean. I mean, I know that's what they're trying to say. Right. She knows that's what they're trying to say. Take on somebody. Like, yeah. But if you're a verbatim reporter, what should you put down? What they said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you heard. What they said. I what I heard. Yeah. They do not know what you heard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. Was there ever a chance that the trial outcome would be different because you changed what they said? Could be. Yes or no? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Might be, yeah. Yeah. Because it just depends. We all do things a little differently. So which is correct? You, you do it the right way? You know what that means? Or you put it in It's totally up to you. I would say totally up to you because I do what they say and sick it. You know? I would say it's totally up to you how, how you handle it. And you know, there was, I'm trying to think, there was a job I took where there was a word, and for the life of me, I cannot remember the word, and the, the um, witness misspoke it the entire time, and I knew what they were saying, and so I just asked at the end, I said, you know, I said, I have a question for all of you right before you leave. I want to put this on the record. I said, I know the, what the witness was trying to say, but you couldn't spit it out. I forgot what the word was, but whatever it was, like, just say it was specific, specific and he said specific. I said, how do y'all want me to handle it in the transcript? And they said, oh, put the right word, and I was like, okay. And so I asked them, and I, and I put what I said and what they said on the record, and I fixed it through the whole transcript. But um, that's like the only time I've ever actually done that. And the, the, the um, witness had a lisp, and so it was hard for him to say certain words. You know, and I didn't want to look like an idiot because I know he had a lisp, and he was trying really hard to say the correct word. And so, yeah, I, I asked. But other, you know, most of the time, I put whatever they say. Well, you get like a situation down in Georgia. There was one of the court reporters brought up that she was proofreading somebody else's transcript and she got to the phrase that uh, the, the fellow was at the, the carnal store and she looks at him and says, 
What's a carnal store? I don't know. Maybe it's like an adult store or something. Oh, where you make <laughs> and then you finally realize what the guy is saying. Wow, I went down there by the corner store. And then, oh, the corner store. Corner store. Where you buy corn stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as an example, though, on that, I mean, you do have like colloquial, colloquialism. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I had didn't just hear her. A big firm, <laughs> a, a big firm attorney that um, tried a case in our court, and it was it was he was actually doing pro bono work. It was a criminal case, but his big example, and he he told me, I know he tells every court reporter he runs across, um, that he had a case where it was against Firestone Tires. And throughout the entire trans or throughout the entire trial, the guy was from you know Arkansas, and he kept saying tars, the tars, tars the tars, the tars. And yeah. so he said they got that transcript back, and he said it was like you know six thousand pages. It went on forever, mm -hmm. and he said um, every place he said the court reporter wrote tars like T A R S, T -R -S. And he's like, she, and he's like, that was ridiculous. She knew it was tires. She knew it was tires, yeah. And so, I mean, he was spurious. And I was like, he was like, so, <laughs> you have any questions like that? And I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, so, and I mean, my, my grandfather used to say, like, far and right. far. And yeah. So, I don't know. That's true. Sometimes it's the accents. Yeah. And yeah. it's not the way that, it's, it's, they're not saying it. It's yeah. Like, yeah, that's okay. true. Do you mean tires or Yeah. Yeah. That's what we clarify, yeah. Uh-huh. And then I had one the other day, and it was all up, and it was, uh, the guy who was saying cotter pin. And I knew it was cotter pin, because I heard the word plenty of times, and uh, but on, so on the break, he, cause he was saying carter pin. Yeah. And so I asked him on the break, I said, are you saying Carter pin, like C O T T E R, which is correct, or Carter pin. He said it's a Carter pin, C A R T E R. And I said, no. um, <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. It keeps those Carters together. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got these one through fifteen. Okay, where did we leave off back there? So number one, we we're going to start. Oh, oh we're going to let y'all. We'll let you raise your hand and answer these. We'll be sweet. Like, yeah. Let you raise your hand. Okay. Number one, the dissonance. Dissonance, who wants to answer dissonance? We got a hand come up over there. Melinda? Uh, I have dissatisfaction. Anybody agree with that? Yeah. I don't disagree. You disagree? What do you think it is? No, I agree. Oh, you agree? agree? Anybody disagree with that? We have one disagreement over here. What do you think here? it is? I think it's conflict. She's causing conflict. I think it's conflict. And she's causing conflict over here. I play conflict too. We have conflicting <laughs> answers on dissonance. That was the only other thing huh? that made sense. Conflict? How many people say it's conflict? About dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. And the winner is conflict. Oh, wow. Woohoo! Wait, where's that bag of candy at? <laughs> is it all gone? Seriously? Are you kidding me? Seriously, all gone? Oh my God, y'all are hilarious. Well, we're going to give you a participation. I don't get to throw time. anything out to you. I was going to throw it out. Okay. Throw me you. <laughs> That's okay. Impede. Number two. Impede. Uh huh. Impede. Impede. Anybody disagree? Awesome. Number three. Dolores. I think I dated her. Anybody know what you think? Sorrowful. Oh, yes. Sorrowful. And the way I remember that is uh, Dolores. Listen up. Listen up. Say it again. Dolor is pain in Spanish. Dolor is mother in law's name. Dolor is pain in Spanish. It's your mother in law's name. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Now let me ask you, is there anybody besides when she's talking to her mother-in-law that she used Dolores in a sentence? Uh, never. Uh, I don't know where Anita found these words. I know. That's not Sorry, well, that's I feel so Dolores. <laughs> oh. in, uh -huh. in downtown San Antonio, there's a major thoroughfare called uh, Dolorosa. It, it means the road of sorrows. Oh, oh, it comes okay. from the word Dolores. Oh, okay. But now it's in your Get to bed. know. Now that makes sense. <laughs> Get to oh, know. Yeah. Number four, expedience. Okay. Practical. 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 Oh, yeah. What did you think? Practical. 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 Do you may think it's different than practical? <clears throat> nope, that's should. correct. Practical. But it should. I think it's 
That's a really I don't think that's a very I think that's a very obscure one. <laughs> Expedient. Yeah. Practical. It means it's the best yes. worst answer. It's the best worst answer, yeah. Yeah, best worst answer. Okay, imperative. Essential. 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 Ooh, good one. I already got that one. Explicit. Specific. <laughs> <laughs> Specific. <laughs> Ethereal. Airy. Airy. Everybody got that one too. Impetus. Motivation. Motivation. Ooh, y'all are just like awesome poor reporters. Exacerbate. Person. Person. Obscure. Mysterious. Inception. Origin. Origin. Who? Oblivious. Unaware. Wow. Impetuous. Impulsive. It sounds like girls. a cult, doesn't it? I know, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Repeat the word. <laughs> not on street corners, but. <laughs> Factitious. Oh, this is not okay. Oh, oh. Factitious. Factitious. Artificial. You heard you said artificial. Anything else? Factitious. None of them makes sense. Artificial. It is artificial. It's factitious. It's not real. It's artificial. It's not real. Artificial. Factitious. So what's fictitious? Fictitious is a different word. <laughs> Artificial and false might be different, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, the yeah. nuanced words, mm -hmm. yeah. it's like it could have just a little bit of a distinction. <laughs> like, right. Between mm -hmm. fictitious and factitious. And factitious. Like, mm -hmm. factitious. Oh, I mean, <laughs> like, lacking facts. Lacking facts, yeah? Versus mm -hmm. fictitious. Completely. Dogma. Uh, everything ideology? Yeah. That's right. That's always one of my favorite t shirts. My karma ran over my dogma. <laughs> my dogma. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't we stop there and y'all take some time here now and uh, do from what, 16 to 16 28? To, yeah, 16 to 28. Okay. Uh, do you know I actually know Siri? Oh, uh, yeah, you said She's that. She's a friend of our family and stuff. I've actually coached her. She's out speaking to groups now and I teach humor and comedy in Atlanta and, and coach people who make presentations and she didn't realize it until one of her friends called her up and said you know I just got a, this new iPhone thing and I think that's your voice on there <laughs> and she had been the voice that she had been hired to read all these different things and it's really weird what she has to read some stuff is like iglik, nyek, hala hala, like all these sounds and stuff and she'd done it about four years ago, and when Steve Jobs was trying to find a voice for Siri, he picked hers, but she never got another cent out of it. Oh, so unfair. Oh. Well, no, I mean, you say it's unfair. She, I mean, they made billions on it, but she did get paid for the work that she did. But she also was able, we were able to help her get her 15 minutes of fame, and she got on the David Letterman show. Oh. And, uh, I saw her recently on TV, but I can't remember what it was on. But her name is really Siri. Siri. But the new Siri is not her anymore. Okay, that's all. I think, but I can't remember what she was on. Uh, she was on. Uh, Just recently. Who's the, the the woman that has the show? Just talking about for. Um, well, what do you have the show? Well, you have to show. No, it wasn't she was she she was married or dating Porsche. What's her name? Oh, Ellen. Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Oh, Ellen. Yeah. She was on Ellen. She was on Letterman doing the top ten list. No, it was more of a documentary type thing. I saw around Oh yeah, well, she might have been on that too. Uh huh. She's got a great voice. She does a million different voices. But she's not the one that does uh, the streets of uh, of uh, San Antonio on GPS. Does she like Houston Street? And, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think so. Elmira <laughs> oh, instead. instead of Elvira. That was yeah. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's say Philippi. That's how they say it in New York. Philippi. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or Kirkendall. <laughs> There's no R in Kirkendall, but we don't pronounce it. Kirkendall. I think it comes out as Kirkendall, doesn't it?
Okay. Well, like the first time I went to a nice restaurant and they asked me what kind of soup I wanted, and I said, oh, I think I'll have this consumi. So to take some time, go ahead and put shows up there. 16 through 28. No cheating ahead. 16 through 28. I see you over there trying to go ahead. <laughs> okay. Exhort. Urge. Urge. Anybody disagree with that one? Yeah, 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 actually, it's exhort. Exhort? What did I say? Exhort. I did? No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard some say that. <laughs> what did you say? I don't know. I thought it said, what did I say? It said exhort. Uh, <laughs> exhort. 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 It's a chocolate having an effect. It's a chocolate. <laughs> We're right to my head. Urge. That's exhort. correct. Excerpt. Obliged, Grateful. Grateful. domicile, Home. implement, Enforce. arduous, Challenging. antecedent. Yeah. Well, I get different answers on that one. What do y'all think it is? Cause. How many people have cause? Ancestor. It actually can be either one. Oh, really? Really? Two completely different words it can be? Uh-huh. Why is that? It can be in a wheel. Do what? Antecedent if it's in a wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's both. So that can be, we tricked you on that one. That could be cause or an, um, incest. So you could say that making love is the antecedents of your antecedents? <laughs> that was a good baby in Arkansas. <laughs> that was a good one. Condolence. Clemency. Arcane. Anybody think that's different? I think what? I can I hear. I can't. I didn't know what it was. What did you think? <coughs> I put slanted. <laughs> no. Wait, she put slanted. Anybody think it's slanted? Uh, Were you confused? Arcane. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused on Arcane. It, it's confusing. Arcane is confusing. Oh, well, it's not confusing. Oh, it's confusing. <laughs> confusing. Concession. Compromise. Ascertain. Bloviate. Rant. What? You know what I think of that one? Blowhard attorney. Yeah. Rant. 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 Okay, so let's, let's stop a moment and yep. do uh, 29 to 40. 40 on your own and we'll be back. Ready? Okay. How do you pronounce 29? Clandestine. Aha. I hear, see, I hear it all different ways. Clandestine, clandestine. Either way. Clandestine, clandestine. What does it mean? Secret. Positive? Yes. Good job. Concur? Agree. Agree. Censure? Punish. Ardent? Passionate. Ooh. Anybody disagree with that? Good job. Bane? Curse. Okay, I only heard from half the room. Curse. Curse. Okay, good. Curses. Daunting, overwhelming, arrogant, self-importance. How do you pronounce the next one? Despot. 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 What is a despot? Dictator. A dictator. Evil dictator. Despot. A lawyer can be an evil despot. How do you say despot or despot? Despot. Despot. And there's no I in it? Despot. 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 Where you're from? Despot. Got that right. Bring up that draw. Despot. I'm a lawyer and dictator. Lawyer and dictator. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, it could be both. Enigmatic. Mysterious. Aptitude. Uh, elucidate. Explain. How do you pronounce the next one? Oh, what does that mean? I have no idea. Random. Random? Anybody else think random? 
Yeah. Anybody think something different? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We're not sure. I, I, think think habitual, that I guess habitual, but is I it habitual? It's, <laughs> it's random. Yeah. Yeah. Just essence. Essence. Intrinsic. Pompous. Germane. Plausible. Poignant. How do y'all say that? Poignant. Poignant. And y'all said what? Sad? Is that right? Anybody disagree? Is that right? How do you say the next one? Gestalt. Say it again. Gestalt. 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 G with a G. G. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Gestalt. What does it mean? No idea. No idea. That's a hard one. I guess expectation, but I have no idea. What do you think? I don't know. Spirit. Well, Gestalt yeah. philosophy. Think spirit. Anybody else think spirit? No idea. It's spirit. Gestalt is spirit. Stoic. A bond. Say it again. It could be Swedish too. Yeah. So, abide, tolerate. Okay. Abide, tolerate. Is that right? Tolerate. Maintain. Abide, tolerate. Can't abide that. I can't tolerate that. Yeah. If you abide by the rules. That could be. That's possible. Yeah. Should be what? What? Abide, follow. That's true. That's true. Somebody look it up. Somebody look up abide. What's a ruling Siri? Who's got Siri? Okay. It's to allow the existence of grounds and practices without interference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of maintain, yeah. Who made up these questions? Anita. <laughs> I know. She's looking down and saying, I wanted y'all to have to think about things. It's not supposed to be easy. I can hear it now. It's not supposed to be easy. Okay. It should be too acceptable. <laughs> it should be what? Accept or bear. Accept or bear. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it could, be could be that too. Accept. It could be maintain or tolerate. Yeah. Forget how it's used in the sentence. Right. So what are some words that you all have that didn't mean what you thought they meant when you found out what they meant? <laughs> Did you get my meaning? You know, you thought it meant one thing and then you found out what it meant and you're like, really? Oh. <coughs> oh, this list or just in general? Hmm? Just in general. When was it the win? Did you understand? Fungible. Fungible? When I was, I don't know, four or five years into recording, somebody used that, some economist or something in a job, and I'm thinking, fungible? What the devil's that? So I looked it up. It's like a dollar bill. This dollar bill is the same as that dollar bill. I mean, it's, it's a fungible. It's they're the same as? Yes. Fungible? Oh. Never heard that. I heard, I heard the word, but I never had any idea what it meant. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it just disturbed me that they were saying this word. I had no idea what he was telling you. So would my wife and her twin sister be fungible? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember what it was now it was mensch. Mensch. Oh. And I always thought like mensch was like, oh, he's such a mensch. He's like annoying. He's driving me crazy. But it doesn't mean that. It's actually positive. What does it mean? Like a uber man. Like a great guy. Yeah. Yeah. So totally different. The guy is such a mensch. It should have been wow. 
He's a match. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a match. <laughs> Nobody's ever mentioned that I was a match, so I guess I'm not. Putts. Yeah, putts. Such a putts. Bad side. Yeah. Now, I always thought that was negative. It's not? It was negative. Same. Putts is negative. Which is good. Putts is bad. Which is good. Oh, okay. So, putts is what I thought match was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of I kind of thought that though, you know. It's a real putz. Kind of that doesn't even sound like it's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. We didn't think big league was a word, but it is. We looked it up. What? 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 Big league. Because Trump would use big league a lot. It's not kind big of league? Big league? Big league. Spell it. B I G L Y. It's a word. He's uh, saying big league. That's right. Oh, big league. Big league. league. I, was I, was like that too. I was curious, like that's not a word. But he's saying big league. But uh, so you thought it was big league? Like B I G L Y is a word. What does it mean? It means, oh, well, I'm sorry. It's huge. It means it's kind of big. Oh, it's kind of like when you said huge. Huge. How many U's in that? <laughs> a great size. A great size. Big league. B I G L Y. My husband. And you've heard somebody use that in a sentence? Uh, I, 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 well, no, he's saying big league, like when he's just talking on the news recently about he's going to get jobs big league. Oh, big league. Well, I'm telling you, that fellow coming at me, he was big league. Me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him first. Yeah. I'm up there with you, sister. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to do it on a little scale. He's doing it on a big scale. Big, big league. league. Big league scale. Big league. What were you saying? Oh, no, my husband, he, um, he drives me crazy. Well, he always, <laughs> he's a lawyer, but he... Boy, that he, family of yours between your mother-in-law and your mother in law Yeah, I'm going to, like, shock the whole group of them. But um, he, he'll say, oh, that's, I'll, I'll say something, he'll say, oh, that's goodly. And I'm like, okay, goodly. that's not a word goodly. used in that way. Like, you can say it's a goodly sum of money, but just to say something's good or great, you don't say goodly. And so it makes me nuts. And so I quit. That's why I quit. So he constantly mispronounces words on purpose to drive me insane. And so I quit saying anything to him. I'm just like, Chinese wall, and I'm not even going to worry about it. So he kept talking about this um, this client he had and how he was going to have to have a Bangley interpreter come, a Bangley interpreter, Bangley. And I didn't say anything to him. And he was in federal court, and he mentioned to the U.S. attorney that they were going to need a Bangley interpreter, and he said, do you mean Bengali? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I was mortified. <laughs> Had you not been, you know, the horse is out. That's funny. I said, I thought you were just saying that to drive me nuts. I didn't know you really didn't know. Hell has no fury like a woman's scorn. <laughs> That's a good one. Goodly. Goodly catch. Goodly catch. I wish we had Bigly candy. <laughs> Said minuscule. <laughs> Little baby. I had an client who used to say his favorite phrase was for all intentional purposes. It's so good. Dude. All intents and purposes. He's like, really? It's like a sneer. Yeah. <laughs> what are some other things y'all hear people saying and you, you so badly want to correct them? Besides specific and specific. How about uh, people who say nuclear? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Nuclear. That's one of my wives once. I'll say she was it's and nuclear. Yeah. Nuclear. <laughs> she used to drive her crazy because Jimmy Carter, who yeah. basically drove one of those subs around, would say nuclear. Yeah. Because how can he still say that? That's the thing that drives me nuts is there's this lawyer that every time when he gives the instructions to the witness, he says, now, this court report is writing everything down, and when you say, uh-huh, uh-huh, it's actually spelled the same way. It is not. I hate that. She can't write uh -huh. She can't write uh -huh. Yeah. 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 You just don't know what I mean. How do you write it? Everybody like, does it differently. Yeah. 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 That's what I do. Uh huh. Uh 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 uh. If they have a closed mouth, I do. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I get nuh uh from all the little the teenagers. It's always nuh uh. 
Well, how about I, I really like her jewelry. Jewelry. Uh, Another one of my yeah. wife's pet peeves. Jewelry. Jewelry. <laughs> Irregardless. Uh, that's it all the time. Yeah. My uh, one of my well, my personal trainer used to say my bag instead of my bag. Instead of my bag. And then he said it so many times. I was like, I can't say anything now because it's been a year. And he like, no said, this is my bag. Bless their little hearts. I just hate it. But have somebody else mention it too. <laughs> yeah. I just love to be at your house at Thanksgiving dinner for the table conversations. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's a blast. <laughs> Cause that's the kind of stuff that would give me that, you know, that forbidden laughter. You ever have that? Yeah. That's the worst type. It's like when you can't laugh and you know you can't laugh, so you have to laugh. It's like I remember one time I used to date this Italian girl in New York and every Sunday I'd go to her house for dinner. And and every every time at dinner the mother would like point to one of the kids, you know, Peppy, say the grace, you know, Diane, say the grace, Caroline, say the grace. And, and there was like this little tiny thought in the back of my brain that said, I don't think Miss Curdle knows the grace. Now she she wasn't the brightest person in the world, but I'm going, I don't I bet she doesn't know it. And it was it just kinda of sat back there and for some reason one dinner I'm going Mrs. Curdle, why don't you say it this time? <laughs> it's like, this look just came over, and he, she, she started like and stopped like three or four times and, and didn't know it. And I'm like, <laughs> ex girlfriend. <laughs> I was never welcomed into the family. After that, so. My husband is a redneck boy from Cleveland, Texas, actually, Sparking and Prairie, which is like a suburb of Cleveland, yep. which is really bad. And he, God love him, he's the sweetest, smartest guy, but he just is like English is his like language. He mispronounces things all the time. And, you know, so like he'll say electoral. Like, hey, no. <laughs> and my daughter is mini me. She is like, she's, well, she's a smart kid. And so, and I can't really that sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> she pushed away her red neck side. <laughs> be careful when we're, when we're both there. Like, he'll say something, and she and I will look at each other, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're both like, you know, hiding because we don't want to be offensive to him because he doesn't know. And so I'm trying to train him without, you know, being to him. That's pretty much how it is around my house with me. I have one daughter that's at Oxford. My wife is like Miss Proofreader. She kind of look. At, she's like you guys. She can look like a, look at a whole page of text, and her eye just goes right to the mistake. So, and I'll send stuff uh, to all, all the time. And uh, oh, I'll I'll go to send something out, and thank God she catches it on time. Because anytime you've gotten anything from me, you know, there's a mistake in it. It's because I was stupid and didn't give it to her. First. <laughs> you know, you've all seen that. I'm sure those papers where it's telling the whole story and it's all spellings wrong and all screwed up, so and it, and you can read it. I know. Uh, what's so bad? You just attach that to the transcript and say at the bottom, "What's the problem?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's the first letter and the last letter are correct. You can read it. Yeah. Look at this. You can read it. No, because of my my uh, grammar and punctuation problems. My my favorite cartoon was an old Far, far Side one. It's like Thomas Jefferson, he's writing the Declaration of Independence, he looks up and goes, is it we the people or us the people? <laughs> <laughs> it drove my problem home, but my girls love to correct me. Oh, they just can't wait. And now, my, my oldest daughter, I mean, she's like this incredible writer, and I mean like, she sends us the stuff that she's turning in for papers, and my wife and I, I feel like we're like, the Flintstones going, <laughs> words on paper cannot read. Just. And yet, when she texts, there's like, it's, it's like some total morons texting. And it's like, there's no spell check, no nothing, and you're just trying to decipher what she said. So strange. I wish I had always done screenshots on all the texts that I text with swiping, and it comes out different words because 
Some of them are just hilarious and scary and everything. Well, some <laughs> of them are I wish I could have been a book out of that. <laughs> All the way in the back? I went to a graduation at Columbia, which is Ivy League, and they were doing, somebody was writing in real time in New York, in New York City. And I'm sitting there watching this real time while they're talking about how wonderful all of these Ivy League graduates are. And I mean, they're, the names, everything they're going through, it is just blasting. There is one real time reporter in New York City that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go reporter, go. <laughs> you know, nobody kid vibes, kid so vibes. Excited, but they were great. Aww. And so, just to let y'all know, that was one reporter that was doing us good that awesome. night. Awesome. Yes. It's always good when you look up and everything's coming out. You're like, oh. yeah. So, shall we see what's up for synonyms? Absolutely. I can look at those for. A little bit. One, let's do one through, set, uh, one through 12. There's only 12. Let's do 1 through 12. Take your time. This, these are a little bit more difficult. Well, what was interesting, if you all had been with us a long time, Sue McDuffie was one of our court reporters for a long time. Matter of fact, we have one of her programs on the online, too. And she had her stroke, and I knew things was bad the first time she sent me a, a, an email, and it was spelling mistakes. But she never made them. I mean, she corrects me on everything. And sometimes I do it just to annoy her. And now that I know she's getting all of her function back and everything, I'll put stuff in there to see if she catches it and stuff. And she always does. But uh, that's so strange. Her grammar, punctuation just went. But uh, she's doing great now, for those who didn't know her. So she's retired, living in Augusta, and uh, just isn't going to report anymore. But uh, she gained, got a lot of her... Capacity back again. So, oh, would you say capacity abilities? Capacity abilities, yeah. Yep. Good. Okay, are you ready? Sit in. Who wants the first word? Scowl. 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 How do you say the word? Flower. Scowl. Anybody disagree with scowl? No. Okay, next one. That's all right. Rectify. Rectify. What is that one? Remedy. Has anybody seen the TV show Rectify? <coughs> no? Oh, it's a good show. I think it's on Sundance or something, or one of those. It's you can't even begin to explain. One of those. It's in a smaller southern town in Georgia. But uh, it's somebody turned me on to that a couple years ago, so you know you can catch up on all the episodes. But oh, it's Rectify. It was good. Does anybody here have time for TV? <laughs> I've, been, I've been binge watching Jane the Virgin on Netflix. Jane the Virgin? Yeah. What's that about? It's good. It's the Virgin. She's a virgin. She got she accidentally did. artificially inseminated. Oh, accidentally artificially. <laughs> so it, it makes fun of, it, it sort of makes fun of a telenovela, but then it sort of is a telenovela, and it's just, it's oh, very, really cute. it's very cleverly written. Yeah. It's just really funny. Yeah. yeah, I always ask Pam, so, do you ever see this? She goes, I'm a court reporter. What's that mean? I don't have time. <laughs> How about vestige? Yes, a trace left by something vanished. That's right. Yeah, this one was interesting. Yeah, this one's interesting. What do y'all think this one is? Dunnage. Started with baggage. which is a baggage appendage because I think that is taxation. So, who thinks it's the first one? Who thinks it's appendage? Advantage? Baggage? And you are incorrect. Not the first one. It's ship's packing material. Or baggage. Or baggage. Is it also baggage? It's both. All right, fine. It's both. Was this a Queen Elizabeth or what? It's both. What it do? They, it's the material that they put in, in between stuff on a ship so it doesn't get damaged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the stuff we pump. Yeah, the bubbly stuff. The dunnage. Honey, where's the dunnage? I want to check this out. I need more dunnage. You need dunnage for your baggage? Yes, I do. I need more dunnage for my dunnage. Amity. 
Friendship. I think Amityville Horror. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I see that word. Me too. That's why. So that was Friendlyville, Friendlyville, and then it was the horror. Yeah. I don't know. Friendlyville Horror. Horror. So bogus. Yeah. How do you say the next word? What do y'all think that is? Person who hates pizza. Human kind. Human kind. Human kind. It's a person that hates. Person that hates. Human kind. Yeah. Philanthropist. Yeah. Anthropology is the study of humans, right? So I remember it. Edify. How do you say the next one? Hypochorism. <laughs> what does that mean? It's not like light sleep. It's not like light sleep. You put what? What do you think? Light sleep. Light sleep. What do y'all think that is? Like the hyper and hypo. So that's why I put low for the hypo. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. It's, it's wrong. Good. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good guess. Well, I like how she worked the whole thing. Right? 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 That's the first half. I know, right? That's right. <laughs> I mean, this is a, and this is a hard one, and I was shocked. It's it's a pet name. What? It's a pet name. It's a pet name. I know it's hard. I was like looking at it going, for real? That's a that's a weird one. Have you given yeah. your dog a hypochlorism? <laughs> no, we want him to have it's a like dog. It's like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> we went puppies, so we didn't do that. Somebody a cat name? Yeah, you're doing a hypochorism. Oh, is it okay? Is it a name for your pet, or is it a pet name? No, it's a pet, a pet name. No, just a pet name for somebody. You call somebody. Yeah. Like the camp calls me Cuddles. Hypochorism. Tog, this is a hard one too. Tog, what do y'all think? Tog, dress up. What do y'all think? Tog, going once. That's a hard one. Going twice. I put dress up. Dress up. Dress up. And you know, it was funny because I was watching some show the other day. One of those, like, what not to wear or what to wear. One of those shows, I don't remember, whatever. And they actually said this word. I never heard this word before until the seminar. And then they said this word on that show. And I went, hey, I know that. That's dress up. And um, it was the, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. It was the, uh, it was the Hal's House of Orange County. I do watch that one. Or Beverly Hills. It was the Beverly Hills one. Well, I'm glad you watched With Good Lisa Jesus. and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste your time on that. Educational stuff. Shit. And they were going into, they were going, they were in Ireland. And they were going into milk cows. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But they were going into milk cows. And they had to put these, they had this table full of clothes, like boots and, and uh, outerwear so they wouldn't get sprayed from the cows. And the guy said, uh, he said the word, and they all looked at him like he was crazy. They said, let's get, he said, let's get togged. And they went, <coughs> and I said, ooh, that means get dressed. And they were looking at him like he was crazy. And he said, you know, boots, clothes. And they're like, never heard that word togged. And I was like, I have. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go one. Bam. <laughs> Namby Pamby. Insipid. Namby Pamby. This next one, I just saw that for the first time. Kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. In the news reading. Oh, really? Kerfuffle in the news reading? Yeah, but I'm not sure if I knew. What do you think it means? We had a kerfuffle. I think it was about the riots in the same It's a kerfuffle. It's a disturbance. Could I, could I get my kerfuffle toasted with butter? It's a minute. That's a hard word. I want a kerfuffle. Yellow yeah. this. Yellow 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 this. To the Oxford oh, Dictionary of English, a bunch of new ones. They added YOLO. J-Lo. You know what YOLO means? You only live once. YOLO. You know what? I can't believe they haven't added it as M E H. What's M E H? Oh, man. 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 I mean, it, you see it written yeah. all over the place, and they haven't put that. True. Together. That's true. What about Y A Y? Oh my gosh. Y A Y. Y A Y. Yay. Yay. Yeah. 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 I've always put that. Yeah. What do you put? Y-E-A. Yeah, Y-E-A. That's what I put. Oh, I put Y-E-A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Oh, I'm just yeah, yeah. my own song. I think my ink one. Oops. Oops. I know. Oopsie. It is? Really? Yeah. It's what is it? Like it's to me? Yeah. It's it's like well. <laughs> Forget about it. It's too. Forget about it. Yeah. Forget about it. Moves. Y'all know moves? What's moves? Me and moves. What famous actor was known for his moves? Chris Pratt. Oh, I don't know about that. We talked about him the other day on Ellen. Oh, really? Yes, it's the first time I've ever heard of moves. Ooh, that's not who I have down, but... Um, now, Chris Pratt is the one that's yeah. in, like, the galaxy and all looking found. Yeah. I like him. What's uh -huh. his name? Who? Uh, Chris, what's the Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt? Okay. He used to be on Everwood. He was Everwood. in Parks and Recreation, too, wasn't he? Yeah. He was in Everwood. Yeah, a bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah. I remember Everwood. I have Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise was the first guy. He was the first guy known for his moves. That's what Anita had now. Tom Cruise. No, like boobs. Like man boobs. I think he had them operated on. Oh, man boobs. Hey, you remember when we first heard about him? It was Seinfeld. Yeah. Oh, and yes, and Jerry Stiller on Seinfeld. Yeah. George Costanza's dad, Kramer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me right, remember that? It's a hysterical episode. Yeah. <laughs> moves. Squee. It's a squee. Like a squeak, but that's a key. <laughs> squee. It's a strong connotation of joy. Squee, squee. I've never actually heard anybody say that of y'all. The things they add. Squee. When I woke up and my moves were gone, I squeed. <laughs> <laughs> T-bone, we've all had that forever, like a, yeah. from car crashes, T-bone. But it's a particular car crash. That's true. Yeah, so it's like That's you're going here and somebody hits you like that. Yeah, T-bone car crash. Bonja on the side. Up talk. I've never heard that either. You heard up talk? You have? You know what that is? Yeah. I'm sorry? That? <laughs> no, like I do. I'm sorry? Would I not supposed to be saying that? Excuse me? I'm sorry? Yeah. You gotta go to California to hear it more. Yeah. Yeah. Valley Girls. Valley Girls. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do that again, that was good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's good. The trailing off of the thing now too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yep, yeah, um, no <laughs> <laughs> the valley girl talk. Yoga Lettis. Yoga Lettis. I never heard that either. It's yoga combined with Pilates. Yoga Lettis. I never heard that either. Y'all heard that? I never heard that. This is my favorite. Bitch. Biatch. <laughs> Yeah, I was called that on the record a lot. He didn't, he didn't, you know. You know. He bitch. He bitch. You should have asked him how do you, how do you, how do you want me to spell that? I don't know, right? That's before all these spellings became popular. You bitch. And look at all those spellings. Oh my goodness. Those are all additions. They're all added. Yeah. All these variations of spellings were added in the Oxford Dictionary. Can you imagine? Which way would y'all spell it? I would do the last one, but I'd put a hyphen in it. B-H-B-E-E-O-C-H? That one? With the hyphen. With the hyphen? That's what, what I call my dog. That's yeah. how I spell it. B-H-B-E-E-O-C-H. Oh, <laughs> so now, this is a great chance for humor. Next time you're in a deposition and somebody uses yeah. that word, you can look at the lawyer and go, now, is that B-I-O-T-C-H? <laughs> 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 You can take this paper with you. See, these are, these are all added to the Oxford Dictionary. Which way would you prefer to spell it? <laughs> Add a little humor to your bitch talk, you know? Because I'm putting it in my sheet and it's coming biatch. I don't think that's what they're trying to get away Can you imagine? <laughs> Oh I never thought that word would actually come up during a court reporter seminar, like in all the years I've been doing it. I've tried to avoid avoid using it. Uh, and here it is. Thank you, Anita. Bracketology. 
I've never heard of this either. Have y'all heard of this? No. Process of predicting the field of college basketball winners in the NCAA basketball tournament. March Madness. March Madness. I never heard of bracketology. But once you once you know what it means, then it goes, yeah. oh, that makes sense. That's a, yeah. that's a good use for that word. Cheese ball. I never heard that either. Cheese ball. Foolish or unoriginal person or food item. <laughs> yeah. Little cheese balls. I, I think buckets of cheese balls. We should have brought one of those. The big giant buckets of cheese balls. <laughs> we could have tossed them at you. Have a little uh, tray bouche here in Flingmouth. Cheese head. Yeah, cheese head. Yeah, I've heard of cheese head. Yeah. Okay, and the last one. Who wants to try to pronounce that last one? You gotta do it all at once. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What were you asking me? You want some more pizza? Forget about it. Around losing weight. Forget about it. The way that the cheese ball definition is written, it looks like a foolish or unoriginal person or a foolish or unoriginal food item. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It needs a comma. It needs a comma. So when they call you a bit, you know what time you can call them a cheese ball. Yeah, come eat cheese ball. <laughs> Do we would you need, need a comma come right after a foolish? After foolish or unoriginal person, comma or food item, right? Comma or food item. All right. Or reverse. Unless you want me, yeah, um, yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. What other words y'all think have been added? Uh huh. I found this on the web and I had to save it for one of my U.S. Yes, yes, yes. It says, "Don't use a big word when it's singularly." Unloquacious and diminutive linguistic expression will satisfactorily accomplish the contemporary necessity. Vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> lesson. Oh my god. That's great. Especially doctors. Say it one more time, slowly. Does it right? Say it one more, really. Say it one more time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really do what you say. <laughs> yeah. Don't use a big word when they singularly. Unloquacious and diminutive linguistic expression will satisfactorily accomplish the contemporary necessity. Like, duh. Yeah, duh. duh. Just say duh. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. What other words have y'all have y'all run across? I'm trying to think. I've had some crazy words like the dictionary, duh. Duh. Yeah, is duh in a dictionary? I put D-U-H, duh. I think, isn't that, I think that is, isn't it? Duh. Well, I wonder if D O H is ever in the sentence. Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. I've seen the word the fleek comes up the fleek. Yeah. I've heard yeah, I've heard people talk about that word too. Fleek. Have y'all heard that word fleek? Yeah, F L E K. Yeah, like her eye her eyebrows were on fleek. Yeah, it's like what? like on nice. point. Yeah, on point. Oh, okay. Looks good. Yeah, it's something like that. Who's trying to make that a popular word? That is call it and I don't know. Spell it again. Fleek. Fleek. F L E E K. F L E E K. Fleek. I've heard it. I've heard it lately too. F L E E K. F L E E K. Fleek. I think I heard somebody talk about that in the last seminar. Fleek. We have a hand up over here. I have heard the word lately. Wait, we can't hear her over here. Gotcha. Like oh, gotcha. Oh yeah, gotcha. That's the dictionary. G O T C H A. I actually use that in my job. But now we've used that for years in New York. Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yo, I gotcha. So forget about. I get that one a lot in my depots, actually. Gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they caught them in something. Yeah. Like, I gotcha. I know. Hey, gonna is one that gonna. 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 Do y'all put that in? My, my scopus has been changing mine lately. I put going um, going to if for the attorney, unless it's clearly they say gonna. And she's been changing all mine to gonna and wanna. The want to, she's been putting wanna, W A N N A. I'm like, no, 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 I don't use wanna, I use want to. Yeah. And I had to get change them. And I don't use gonna unless it's. Um, Depends on their, how they say it. Yeah. Sometimes it's obviously. Yeah, gonna exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the store, or, you know. Yeah. Or it's just gonna, gonna help this. Yeah, this is gonna help. This is gonna help. G U or G O? Gonna or gonna? G O N N A. Gonna. Um, I'm gonna go to the store and then I'm going home. I'm gonna get that a lot. Wanna, but wanna, yeah, she changed all my want to's to wanna. I'm like, were you really hearing? I didn't hear, I really want to. So I heard want to, but she changed them all to wanna's. And I'm like, I don't need wanna. 
I've never actually written one. I've never. <laughs> yeah, want to be doing it. Yeah, want to be doing it. <laughs> what are some ones that you all get? Huh? Me too. What was that? Just words or? What? I get another instead of another. Another, another, a whole another, 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 yeah. Oh, I get that one sometimes. Another. Do you put an apostrophe each another? Yeah, but it's, it's, no. it's just no apostrophe. Whole just put another. Yeah. Another is it's a whole, it is a word. Whole, yeah, a whole other, a whole other program. She had her hand up over there. I'm here for me, and we had all kinds of weird pronunciations up there, so I'm never sure. I just, what I hear, I write. Like, give us an example. Well, I had one on my mind, but I didn't get to spare it out in time to remember. Okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think of it. Tonight, I'll have that. Oh, thank you. I've got a minute. Y'all's? Oh, yeah, I get that one a lot. Why it must be A-L-L must be S. I work in Florida. They said you are. You all. I have that. You all. You all. And then when I moved to Texas, I just switched. You all. You know what's funny? I was on Facebook not not too long ago, and there was a reporter from I can't I don't remember what state. It was a different state, somewhere up up north. And she was asking. She said, I just took this deposition with a bunch of Texas attorneys, and they kept saying this word. They kept saying y'all. What the hell is y'all? And we, we were all writing their back saying, Oh, why plus three L? She's like, What the heck? What does that mean? We're like, You all? Y'all. And she's like, well, That's just the craziest word I ever heard. She'd never heard that before. When I was the word, all y'all. Or y'all. All y'all. All y'all. All y'all. All y'all. I got to go to Sweden once for deposition. Oh, cool. You went to what? She got to go to Sweden for deposition. Wow. And this little wow. witness, I took him for a few hours, and he kept calling this one man a whack-em. Wow. And then he called him a whack-em head. <laughs> and so really? I just was so clueless. And so at the break, I asked him, you know, there's one word I'm just not sure about. And he said, you don't have it in America? And he was calling him like an airhead. But his V's for vacuum, he was saying whack a head vacuum. <laughs> and so everyone just cracked up like <laughs> oh, they all like a head. Makes you think of that vacuum little thing. That's what I was thinking. No. Not at all. Yeah, the welcome. Well, I'm from Minnesota. When I moved to Texas, I thought, wow, these people talk different. So I met her in 30 years later. I went to Minnesota, spent some time there again, and I was working with my sister in law, who's a reporter up there at the courthouse. And then I would hear, you know, them speaking, answering questions. Like, Wait a minute, we talk kind of weird too. <laughs> <laughs> Turn his questions and say, and when he was talking to him, what did they say? Talking, talking. talking. You know, I mean, he was talking to him, didn't he? <laughs> Sometimes the accents can really throw you off, yeah. right? Yeah. And I can say out and about. Yeah. We say out and about, they say out the book, right? Yeah. yeah. I've been doing this um, case out of, um, out of the Baton Rouge, so I've been taking a lot of witnesses, Cajun witnesses. Oh, my Lord. And I'm like, I'm like, they sound like they're from a foreign country. And I'm like, I'm like making notes, and I'm going back at the break, and I'm asking, and they're laughing at me, and I'm like, it's a common word, but they sound so freaky with the way they say them that I'm not catching on and I have to go that way. I've got this whole list of words where you just look at them and tell me what and they're, looking, they're laughing and I'm like stop laughing at me you know? <laughs> because I just don't understand what they're saying. It's like those accents, French accents are crazy. How do you find time to write them down as you're... It, it, when they breathe, right, yeah. right. I just like, I do like, I have my own little shorthand. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, then, and then I ask it a break and I put a check mark. If, if check mark means I asked them. Check mark means I asked. If there's an X, they don't know. If there's, I mean, if there's a question, they don't know the spelling. If there's an X, um, I, it's the wrong word. So I have my own little, it's my own little thing. Okay. Yeah. It's hard sometimes if they're going really fast. It's hard to reach up and write. And so I'll like, I'll, I'll put a note, like I'll put something in friends, like I think it's this. Um, and then uh, that's for my scope so when she goes through she can she can send me a message you need to ask her what this is or something in case I don't have time to write it down but I usually try to remember I can remember it for about five minutes and then it's gone and then it's gone so as soon as they take a, a breath I just write it down I talk to myself I go oh darling take the question you talk to yourself I did that one time 
first time in a job and they were familiar, and I didn't mean, I didn't know I was doing it. And, and, um, you know, I was like repeat they were talking so fast I was repeating it. I thought I was repeating it in my head and I was repeating it out loud. And they were looking at me like I was crazy and I was like, did I just say that out loud? They're like, uh-huh. I was like, oh I'm so sorry. I didn't because I said, slow down, so I don't have to do that. Because I, I didn't realize I was doing it, and I was like, oh my gosh. Because I, I, I repeated it in my head all the time if they're going really fast, but I didn't realize I was doing it out loud. It's like, oopsie, how long have I been doing that? <laughs> how about all these people that say, could have, should have, oh, could have, should have, instead what? of have? Do you just, mm. do you all have? Could have, could have. have. Yeah. Yeah, that's an apostrophe V E. Yeah. 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 Like, but I see it all the time where people, like, especially on Facebook, I'll put could of. Yeah. I put apostrophe V E too, yeah. In Georgia, you get one like uh, two all the time. So, like, I'll have them to call you back. What? what? Oh, I'll have them. I'll have them to call you back. Have I'll have them. Have them. Yeah, like the two. Yeah, have them. Have them call you back. It's like, um, have them call you back. Have them to call you back. How do y'all do that? Apostrophe E-M. Have them. Apostrophe E-M. That's a weird word. I'm trying to think of other ways that that's used. Uh, I, I, I've been getting this one lately too from all the rednecks. It's like, I get the one where they say like, um, um, mom and him. Mom and him met me at the physical therapy place. <laughs> <laughs> like, mom and him. Mom and him. Mom and him met me at the physical therapy place. And they put me in and took me to the whatever. And I'm like, it took me minutes and they were like, Mom and him. And I was like, Mom and him. And he 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 was like, Mom and him. Yeah, yeah, I've had, had stuff that come up with my Cajun ones. Mom and then, mom and, yeah, because it's like an explosion case. Uh, mom and then picked me up at the at the plant and then took me to the physical therapy. And I'm like, it took me a while to figure out what that was. I'm like, I kept thinking it, maybe it's like a bus or something. Mom and then, I don't know what they're talking about. I'm like, the first time I asked them, I'm like, what is a mom and then? They turned and started laughing. And I was like, I was like, I seriously don't know. I said, you said mom and him. And I went back and found it and I read it and he goes, he started laughing. He goes, mom and, you know, mom and him. Mom and, you know, my family, mom and him. And I was like, mom and him. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever start laughing to yourself when you Yeah. <laughs> Ago. I think I told you a little bit about that one, the divorce case where we were taking the, um, we were taking the um, mistress and the wife was in the room oh. and we took the we took the husband too and um, it was really funny because she was a um, she has a like a company she she's a cook a chef but she does this in a bustier. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a number for me. <laughs> She was, she was saying all this stuff, and she, she I mean, her pronunciation on stuff was crazy, and sometimes I just I didn't know what she was saying, and um, she was very, um, I'm trying to think of the word, she wasn't redneck, but she was like, um, I don't know, it was like a combination of three countries at once, and I, I, I you know, half the time I was like, you know, I was like, would you repeat that a little slower? And it was like, she was just like, Everything was just all meshed together. It's like mush mouth. I call that mush mouth when they just all, you know. And I, I'll be like, say that one more time. And she'd say it, and I go again. And I look at the the guy. What did she say? Because I, he's been with her, right? He knows what she's saying. <laughs> and, uh, you know. I mean, you know, and, I, and I was thinking, ooh, I shouldn't. I should have probably looked at the attorney when I did that. But I looked at the guy, and I was like, what did she say? And he'd repeat it, and he'd go. Would the wife would get pissed? Well, but yeah, he found it very endearing. Yeah, I guess so. I was like, ooh, yeah. I think it's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of your word bitch. My mother in law uh -huh. English war bride, and when she first came to America way back when, after the war for in the 40s, and uh, over there they can use words over there that are, you know, just totally fine over there would be terrible here, like, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, like we went over there and stayed in a hotel and they wanted to know what time we want them to wake up. They said, 
which time do you want to be knocked up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But anyway, so she was over here and she said, and she, and, um, she would call her little girls a little bitch. And oh, she would get so trouble. She thought she was going to get in trouble with CPS. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, call her child a bitch. <laughs> Morgan, like a little stinker. That's a little endearment. Yeah. <laughs> endearment. <laughs> well, well, like, uh, Bob, what are you going to do? I'm going to go outside and have a fan before this starts. Yeah. Just a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> do you need to use a little? Yeah. <laughs> Some of the different dialects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look ahead. Um, you talk about trying not to laugh. I had a get a deposition of a guy who had been in a car accident and one of the things he was claiming was loss of consortium and he had had to have he was having erectile dysfunction problems and so he had had an implant and it had like a pump like a hand pump and they were That's going so into you know this is one of those where you just kind of i know you start out facing the table and then you just kind of keep turning, turning yourself around <laughs> Because you just can't look at the guy, <laughs> and you know, and so it's like, well, you know, so uh, how's it, how's it going? You know, and he's like, well, you just, you know, just like pump it up when we're ready to go, and you know, and he's like, and and the attorney's like, well, and, and how's that work? He goes, sometimes it does, sometimes it does. <laughs> that mistress it was crazy but the attorney had told me a little bit about the case before we started in case because I, I carry students with me a lot and I didn't have one that day but she always likes to tell me what it's about before so I can warn students so they don't start laughing and so um, she told me a little bit about what it was about so it was kind of funny because she would ask these questions you know you know pretty intimate questions to this woman and then she would look at me and I'm like I'm like please stop looking at me because we'd start to giggle between us you know I'm like please stop looking so hard because you know what's about to come it's like she's looking at you because you know what's about to come you know what that question is about you know and so I had to turn away I had to close my eyes I started closing my eyes through that whole depo so that I wouldn't look at her because I was afraid I was just going to burst out laughing and I had this one I'll never forget this one case I have to tell you about this one it was supposed to be a car wreck well it was a car wreck and I took this um, this really shy, 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 shy girl. She's like 21, really young, really quiet, really shy. A brand new baby court reporter. Took her with me to this job, and it's car wreck, right? What harm could there be in a car wreck? So we get there, and the attorney the attorney looks at me, and he goes, um, "You know what this is about, right?" And I go, "It's a car wreck." And he starts laughing, and he goes, "Oh yeah." You'll see. Uh, You'll see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, there's not much we should know before. He goes, you brought a student, huh? And I said, yeah, are you okay with that? And he goes, he goes, yeah, but you need, to, you need to tell her she can't be laughing or anything. And I'm like, I'm thinking, it's a car wreck. You know, so I pulled her to the side and I said, you know, I don't know, I have no idea what he's talking about. And he's not, what he did want us to know, he didn't want to tell me. I guess I want to see our reaction, I don't know. And then, so I told her, I said, whatever happens, if you're going to laugh or you're going to cry, whatever it is, Put your head down. Don't let anybody see it happening. Or just turn around. Don't laugh. Don't cry. You have no emotion. Just, you know, still face. And so he starts going along. And he's asking all these questions. It's a woman. He's asking these questions. And all of a sudden, you know, he's finding out about where she was before. Well, she did sex parties. And she sold all these sex toys, right? So she, she had a Jeep. And it was full of sex toys. She was on the freeway and she got hit and, and, and she flipped and all the sex toys flew out. <laughs> and the vector drivers were running and chasing them. They stole them all. They went out and stole all the sex toys. And so he started talking about the sex toys. Well, then he started asking about each one independently and what it did. Oh. And the poor girl, I swear, she was like, she was about to roll on the floor. She was so embarrassed. Her whole face was red. And I was trying so hard not to laugh at her because of her expressions. Uh -huh. And oh my God, I finally just, I couldn't stop. I just started just laughing. And I, it was uncontrollable. I said, we have to take a break. We have to take a break. And the attorney was laughing. We were both laughing. We had to go outside the hall. It was more, I felt horrified for that moment. But I could not help it. I could not stop laughing. It was horrible. Well, I don't know how we could top that story. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You're done. How easy was that? I hope you had a great time taking this program. Now you have a few more CEUs to add to your CEU bucket there. 
Now remember, if you're taking one of our longer courses, please wait until you finish all the seminars before you send us your answers. And please try to, if you're going to put them in an email, copy them in one straight vertical line uh, separated by the different uh, course titles. And that makes it easy for me to, to grade, makes it go a lot faster, and I don't make any mistakes. Well, not so much. Okay. And also, you can scan them in, in order and send them to me as well. Remember, we are always putting new content up here. Every year, we will have at least four to ten more hours worth of uh, CEUs that you can get here from the comfort of your home. So if you know more court reporters that would like to get their credits that way, please let them know about it. And remember, your home for CEUs online, Jeff Jess's Seminars, where you can get your CEUs online anytime.